this video, I will build a Shopify store live in front of your eyes using the same exact templates, apps, and AI tools that I used to create this Shopify store that made me $10,000 yesterday alone. I always use the same exact formula to create stores that actually convert at the highest possible scale. If you look at this one right here, our conversion rate is over 5%, which is significantly higher than everyone else in the industry. Let me start by setting up the foundations. Now, most beginners fail because they rush the setup in the beginning and they don't follow a structured process. So make sure to not skip any steps I'm going to show you here, because if you literally just skip one step, nothing else is going to work. Step one is create a Shopify store by signing up for a free trial. Step two is go to the Shopify app store and search for the Atlas AI store builder. Now install the app onto your store and no, I'm not sponsored by them. If you look below this video, there's going to be zero affiliate links to any of the apps I'm going to show you here because I want to make sure that you have my unbiased opinion. These are only the apps and tools I personally use. Step three is select AliExpress, copy and paste your product link and your whole product page is already literally done. Well, kinda. If you just start selling with this product page, you wouldn't really make any sales. So even though this might look good enough to you, it's not. Because there's one mistake that most people make that just instantly kill their sales right away. So let me fix that next. The first image you have on your product page is probably the most important part, except for the offer, on the entire page itself. You need to make sure that the first image actually sells the product well. It builds trust and it shows your product in the best possible light. So the tool you should be using to edit the pictures is Pixel Cut. So step one is go to Pixel Cut and start editing your product picture. Step two is optimize that first product picture as much as possible. You can use Canva AI to design a logo for your business. And here a little pro tip, make sure you add some free gifts or something like that on your product page. And then you can also include that in the very first image. Now as the very first picture, you can either use a picture or a GIF. If your product is self-explanatory and it doesn't need more explanation, you can get away with a picture, no problem. If it's not, and if it's a little more complicated, the first image should actually be a GIF instead of a picture. And also one thing which always increases conversion rates is adding a 90 day money back guarantee badge. All right, this is just gonna make people way more comfortable. Now, before I give you the one hack that I use to always ensure my store has conversion rates of over 5%, I I want to make sure that you have all the fundamentals down. And here's one element that can literally ruin everything you've done so far. The theme. Now, my number one favorite theme of all time is the shrine theme. If you use the shrine theme, everything is literally just going to do better. It's an instant upgrade. So if you have a little bit of extra money left, this is a great investment. Now, I'm literally losing out on thousands of dollars on affiliate commissions because I love Shrine, but I want you to know that I'm actually unbiased and I pick Shrine not because I'm affiliated, but because I truly love what they're doing. So no affiliate link and no thousands of dollars for me. Now, in my opinion, if you're just starting out, you can also just use the default layout, which Atlas AI is going to create for you. But if you want to make your store actually look like a million dollar brand, use Shrine. Now, what most dropshippers get wrong is if somebody doesn't buy from their store, they think, aha, it has to be the first picture. It has to be the theme. It has to be the offer. It has to be the price. It has to be this. It has to be that. But you know what the real issue is? It's doing guesswork instead of relying on actual numbers. You're just guessing. You don't know what the real issue is. And even me, I can make a pretty fair and good assumption, but in the end of the day, I'm still guessing on all of my previous experience and just seeing the patterns. I could tell you, I think this price is gonna work better than this one. And most of the times it's gonna work better. However, it's just my opinion. It might or might not be correct, but there's an app that literally allows you to split test prices in anything that you want. So there's no opinions involved whatsoever. I'm a numbers guy. I like to trust numbers instead of any opinions. If I see the numbers, I don't even trust myself because numbers are always right. And if you split test two prices, it's a literal fact which price is better. It's not an opinion anymore. Whenever you're unsure how you should price your product, if you should use this image or this image, instead of just asking yourself these questions, install the app Intelligence and then you can track which 
price, which image is better. Massive game changer. So here, let me get a little bit more advanced now. What most people do wrong is they only look at their conversion rate. So how many people out of 100 buy from their store or on their average order value. So how much do they spend? If you look at one of these metrics by themselves, the real actual issue is, let's say you have a product which you sell for $50. Now you think, all right, let me actually test the same exact product for $30. So you decrease the price by $20 and the conversion rate goes up like crazy. Cool. Now you think, all right, this actually did really well. But the average order value also decreased. So what you need to find is the golden middle. It's the mix in between average order value and conversion rate. So the real number you have to be looking for is profit and revenue per visit. How much money do you make from a visitor being on your store? That's a significantly more important number than your conversion rate or your average order value. Now, I have done literally thousands of these split tests over the last few years. At this point, I can give you data-backed answers on what makes a conversion rate good. That's what we teach our students inside of our program. And we literally will tell you exactly what you have to change on your store to get the highest possible conversion rate and the highest possible average order value. Because we have a database of thousands of split tests and we can just already tell you what is better. Which color is gonna do better in this niche? Which picture template is gonna do better here? We know literally all of it, we just tell you what to do. Now, right now, I'm gonna tell you the number one split test of all time that had the biggest impact and that raised our conversion rate to over 5%. This one thing was a massive game changer to us. But before I do so, I wanna be honest here. This will not 10X the money you make. In reality, the conversion rate is also tied to the quality of the product and the quality of the traffic. If one of these two sucks, it doesn't matter. You can have the best product page in the world, nobody's still gonna buy it because you have to get the right people for the right reason to your product page and they have to want the product itself. And this is something which is way more important than the store itself. Most dropshippers fail because they start with the wrong product. It doesn't matter if you have the best store, the best apps, the best theme, the best ads, whatever you have, if the product sucks, nothing else matters. You already failed at that point. And this is what we teach as well in our program because as I told you, we've split tested a thousand things on the product page. We've also tested thousands of products and we figured out a pattern for winners. All right, we know what a winning product is and we know what a bad product is. What we do inside of our program is you just send us a list of like 30 to 50 products and we look over that list and we tell you, all right, these 49 are horrible, but this one is a winner. This one is a banger, test this one. And you just start testing with actual confidence that you only test really good products. So then you can go all in and make a beautiful store and make the best possible videos and ads. That makes it worth it because if you make the best store in the world, but the product sucked, you wasted your time. You just wasted weeks of your life on testing bullshit. Now again, we don't have any guesswork going on. We've seen the patterns, we know what's good and what's bad. So that is that. Then we also show you how to create the most viral videos to drive the best traffic to your website. And once you're good at that, we help you scale with paid ads as well. Now, this whole thing is a one-on-one -on -one coaching where we have one-on-one -on -one life calls looking over everything you do. If you're interested, you can click the link below and sign up for a free call. But let's get back to the number one split test we've done which changed our conversion rate completely. This one split test literally doubled our conversion rate by just implementing it every single time. So what I did is I created a step-by-step -step doc which I can send to you completely for free if you just DM me split test on Instagram. It explains you the entire thing completely for free. We're not gonna ask you for anything Thing. It's literally free. And if you have any other questions in general, you can also just ask me whatever you want on my Instagram. I respond to every message once a day. So whatever problem you have, you can also text it to me as well. Now, again, if you are ready to start working with us one-on-one, -on -one, you can click the link below, sign up for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation session. We're going to see if everything is a good fit. And hopefully we're going to start to work together very, very soon.